Nothing hurts more than unrealized potential, and Dead Space 3 personifies that statement perfectly. It is not a bad game, far from it actually. The opening moments are forever etched in my memory. That visual of Isaac floating in space, taking in the view of the abandoned CMS Greeley. It is a picture-perfect representation of dread, isolation, and hopelessness that unfortunately the game never truly embraces. You see, Dead Space 3 is a fast-moving action game. The first two were survival horror games where they built the world and focused on tension and atmosphere. Here, all of these fancy visuals are mostly just a backdrop for the gunplay, which is a shame. Because when the fighting stops and the silence takes over, you can see the original DNA start to resurface. It is in the claustrophobic corridors surrounded by the distant moans of the necromorphs. It is in the design and art direction that makes Tau Volantis actually feel like an alien planet and not some cold place on Earth. It is in the ultra-rare moments where there is some genuine build-up of suspense through incredible sound design. And it is certainly present in the early hours when you are floating in what is essentially a giant space graveyard. You can feel as if there are two opposite ideas existing at once in the game, resulting in an average overall product that doesn't do well in either. Idea number one wants to embrace the original survival horror roots, while idea number two wants to make it an action-packed, set-piece heavy co-op adventure. And the reason you can feel that is because that's exactly what has happened. To summarize, the Dead Space trilogy was developed by Visceral Games and published by Electronic Arts. The first two entries, while critically acclaimed, sold poorly, causing the publisher to step in. EA wanted the third one to be in line with the then ongoing gaming trends, pushing the game to be more action oriented, along with a strong focus on co op. The developers, on the other hand, wanted to go back to what inspired the first game. You know, the tense, moody, and grim atmosphere coupled with brilliant pacing and design, most of which cannot be found here. This contrast resulted in a decent game that initially sold well but still didn't manage to reach sales expectation. I mean, that might be the biggest disappointment here. If you cannot create a product that is either commercial or artistic, then what are you even doing here? If I have learned anything from observing the gaming industry is that consistency will eventually drive sales of even older titles. For example, the sales of Dark Souls 1 continue because of how consistent From Software has been with their entire catalog. Someone who loved Elden Ring might be curious to check out Dark Souls and also vice versa. Look, the point I'm trying to make is. If Dead Space 3 had reached its full potential and turned out to be a great game, players would definitely want to play the older titles, hence increasing their sales. It would have been a win-win scenario for consumers and publishers, but it required patience and consistency. Instead, what we got here was an average game torn apart by two distinctively different visions and filled with a bunch of useless microtransactions. In an environment where thousands of video games are released every year, average is something that is bound to be forgotten. Having made two video games of my own and currently working on a third one, 
hey, I have first-hand experience on what that feels like.